Hey y'all, welcome to the Self Love and Rediscovery Podcast. I'm your host, Dara Madrice, also known as Dara, and here we talk about everything self love and self discovery. Here we go deep. So let's get into it. And in today's episode, on today's episode, not today's episode. We are going to be talking about all the things that help me get out of my negative mindset. Your girl used to be a negative Nancy, okay, all the time. I was stressed out all the time. My video on YouTube about quitting my job. When I was at that place, I feel like I was at my lowest vibration, okay? Just the environment for me the people not everybody because you know I got some rattles that's there but for the most part just the whole environment it was not for me and given my outside situation as well everything just really played a factor in me getting into a negative mindset and when I say negative y'all I was so negative I would wake up with an attitude even with my kids my patience would be so no and I was always on the go I was always ripping and running doing things if I wasn't at work ripping and running I was at home ripping and running and I just even just me talking about it as y'all can tell like it gets me there I've came a long way y'all I have found myself spiritually and I am no longer in that place I've came a very 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 long way y'all and I must say that I'm at peace And I'm just on my way to my abundance and my happiness. And I don't let the small things get to me anymore. So in this podcast, we're basically just going to talk about some of the things, because these ain't all the things, but these are some of the things that help me to get out of my negative mindset. One of the first things that I do to help me get out of my negative mindset is I ask God, for his assistance i meditate i ask my spirit guides for assistance i do it during meditation i do it through prayer a lot of times it's through meditation at first i didn't know to ask (laughs) but if you ask god for his help he's going to help you he loves us he loves us all and he's going to come through the second thing that i do to help change my negative mindset is I do more self-love things. And in my opinion, getting your nails done is an option. You don't have to go get your nails done. And when you do go get your nails done, in my opinion, it's like treating myself. It's like a self-love thing because the girl I go to, she hooks me up. Not only does she hook the nails up, but she'll give me a nice little massage. I get a nice little foot massage, leg massage, that warm towel they put on my legs. To me, that that's self-love. Honey. I could do it myself, but... Why not be able to, you know what I'm saying, sit back and relax and enjoy? And it don't even have to be getting your nails done. If you know cheap like me or you just don't have it like that, you can go for walks on your own, listen to music. Don't listen to no sad music, y'all. If you in a negative mindset, don't listen to no sad music and don't listen to no music that's going to make you want to break something, okay? It's so many ideas on Pinterest I put in things to do for self-love and they will give you so many different pins of ideas of what you can do you can go for a walk I feel like exercising working out is something self-love because you're working on improving your body I'm going for a run a bike ride journaling all of those things in my opinion is self-love and all those things really help me to get out of my negative mindset another thing that I do to help change my negative mindset is I create a vision board so if I'm looking forward to what's to come to me and what I'm working for and striving for me creating that vision board really like it hypes me up and I put my headphones on and I start going with my imagination, honey. I put the car that's about to be mine. I put some quotes, some positive affirmations. I put the house that's about to be mine. I put the cash flow that's about to be mine that's coming to me because just looking at that makes me feel good. And knowing that I'm working towards that really helps me to feel good. I make my vision boards on I was about to say Pinterest, but I get a lot of my ideas and pictures from Pinterest, but I create my vision board on 
Canva, the app Canva. It's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to create a vision board. You don't have to do it on Canva. You can do it by hand, cut out magazine things. Just creating a vision board really, really helped me. You don't even have to do a vision board. You can do, just make a list of all the things that that's coming to you all the things that you want to come to you but you gotta have the right mindset let me say that because you can be mad and want to stay stubborn in that mindset another thing and this is one of the main things that helped me this really took me a while to get the hang of y'all ain't even gonna lie and that is meditation y'all it literally took me months to get the hang of meditating me i always think i can nail something the first time i do it and I thought meditation was just going to be so easy. And I had given up on it. Like, it was times where I would go to it and give up because my mind would be racing. I'd be fidgeting. I'd just be wanting to move and I'd be itching and just random stuff. It's like whenever I went to meditate, I just couldn't sit still. But after practice, after doing it for so long, y'all, I love it. It really helps me to clear my mind and get that positive mindset when I'm not thinking it just helps giving my brain that reset it just helps not only that I'm able to talk to my spirit guys I'm able to really live in the moment that's what meditation does it keeps you present when you're present you're not thinking about what you got to do, what's left that you got to do, or what you did wrong and how you're going to fix it. No, we're not thinking about that at that moment. We are being centered, breathing, and being calm. Meditation is the best thing that ever happened to me, y'all. I really want to work on meditating more throughout the day. Right now, I meditate once a day, but I really, 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 really want to start meditating at least twice a day because... That little time that I have to center myself, it just, it makes me feel so, so, so much better. Another thing that helps me get out of my negative mindset or my low vibration is journaling. Journaling really, really helps me to get out the things that I can't get out normally. <laughs> like my journal holds a lot of my secrets, y'all. Like once I start writing, anything comes out because I just never knew what I was going to write. And when I first started, I just started writing two sentences, three sentences. But like the more I started doing it, the better I got. Like it ain't even the better I got because when I journal, I just journal whatever's on my mind, whether it be something that happened that night, yesterday, how I'm feeling in that day, if I'm sad, if I'm happy, if I'm excited, whatever comes to my mind I journal it it may not make sense my sentences may go from me talking about how my day was to why I'm sad today but just journaling and writing those thoughts out it just it just helped me so much it helped me get the negative things out it helped me sort through my thoughts and not only that but looking back at past journal entries shows me my growth I could go back at some entries and be like okay now I know why I thought this. I just love journaling. It's helped me so much. Journaling and meditation has really, really helped me. But I just feel like they kind of go hand in hand. I don't know what it is why I feel like they go hand in hand. But I just feel like meditation helps to calm the mind. And journaling helps to get the things that you need to get out, out. Especially when you have no one to talk to. Journaling is your best friend. Another thing that helped me get out of my negative mindset or helps me to get out of my negative mindset is I do shadow work now shadow work is very dark it can be dark sometimes depending on how dark your shadows are when I first got into shadow work I was scared <laughs> because when you're dealing with your shadow it's basically all the things that we have suppressed and that need to come to light to help us to grow and I found that whenever I came into a problem or an issue that I know stemmed from childhood or stemmed from a past event like for instance I used to be scared to go out into the world like it's crazy to say that but I literally used to be in the house 24-7. I would not go out. I hated going to the grocery store because I just felt like people were unpredictable, 
crazy. I watch the news all the time and kids getting kidnapped, people getting snatched up. I used to watch crime shows and stuff all the time and that really got to my mind. And watching those things throughout the years, just things that I went through as a child that kind of equated to that, it really put me in a mind frame where I really had to go deep and face those challenges and really figure out why don't I want to go out why don't I like going out why don't I like being around people what is it about people that makes me afraid or what is it about people that make me scared and what's the same thing but (laughs) it's so much shadow work that I've went through and that I've done once you deal with those shadows it helps you to become a better person and get rid of the negative stigmas and the negative mindset that you may have another thing that helps me get out of my negative mindset is reflecting on how far I've came in my life whenever I start to feel ungrateful or I start to get down on myself or feel bad about a situation I always think about how far I've came in my life I always think about where I started versus where I am at that moment and always I've came further than where I've been if I was to go back to where I started I could have went a whole nother way than where I'm at now and I'm so grateful I'm so blessed just reflecting when I'm starting to feel a little ungrateful or a little upset it definitely helps me to just reflect. Another thing is listening to motivational speeches on YouTube and podcasts. Listening to motivational speeches, especially from people that came from where I come from or are on a similar journey as me and seeing how far they've came, seeing how motivated they were and how they can do it so I can do it too. Some people even come from a even more worse situation than I and it's like, come on now, if they can do it, I can do it. I have no excuse. So just hearing someone else's story really helps me to realize that I can do this. Another thing that I do to help me get out of my negative mindset is I download motivational apps. So on my phone currently, I have the motivation app and I have the, hold on y'all, let me check. So the apps that I'm currently using is the motivation app and the I am app. And the I am app really gives me like words of affirmation. And the motivation app gives me motivational quotes that help me throughout my day. And to be honest with y'all, the motivational quotes that they give me come right on time. (laughs) Most of the time, they come at a time when I'm feeling a certain type of way or when I need that little bit of a push to help me to keep going or whatever the case may be. Like, I love those two apps. And I set them up on my phone to alert me regularly. Like, I believe my affirmation app, the I Am app, I believe that I get those like five times a day and the motivational app. I think I may even get like six times a day. I don't remember, but I get them a lot throughout the day. And so if ever I'm feeling some type of way, these alerts are going to automatically come to me. And I always read them and they always kind of lift me up and make me feel a little better about what's going on. And another thing that I do, and this is last on the list, I like in air quotes, more motivational quotes and affirmations on my social medias. So when I'm on Instagram and I see a quote that is, let's say for instance, is saying, let me look on my motivational app. Okay, then here we go. Let's see an example. It says, when you feel like giving up, remember why you held on for so long in the first place. (laughs) That's a good quote. (laughs) But if I see that, on social media on my facebook on my instagram i always hit like on facebook i hit love because the more that you do that the more it will put that in your algorithm and on your timeline so you will see more motivational quotes when you do that for instance i love locks y'all i love hair so when i go on instagram i love i double tap all the locks all the cute little styles I double tap so whenever I go to my explore page that's what I'm gonna see it's beautiful beautiful locks okay 
So let me just say my Instagram was probably full of women with locks. Even some men, but it's mainly women. I just love locks on women. On my Facebook is definitely a lot of motivational quotes, a lot of motivational things, videos. I like a lot of like those calm, serene pictures of the sunset and the sunrise. I love nature. So I love butterflies and birds. I love all the things I love. I keep saying I love it sounded like I'm saying I love it, but I really do love it. <laughs> but you know, when you're on Instagram and Facebook, you like hit the love button, hit the like button. <laughs> so when I'm on Instagram and Facebook, even on Pinterest, I will like in air quotes or love in air quotes <laughs> those pictures and quotes and affirmations because when I do that, whenever I get on again, that's all I see. And it puts me in a in a great mind state. It puts me in a common mind state. And to kind of piggyback off of that, I erase and delete people or things that trigger me now when I say that I don't delete everybody okay I may delete some people that I don't get along with or people that I don't resonate with say for instance I see people vacationing and I ain't been on a trip and God knows how long because I don't have the money to go on trips but I really really want to go to the beach and now that I'm going up and down my timeline now all I see is people on vacation you're gonna get silence just for a little bit till I get my mind set together get my mind friends together it's nothing wrong with that it's not hating none of that it's protecting your peace okay so if you see things that trigger you whether you have body issues and you see all of these beautiful nice figured in shape women you gonna have to silence them for a little bit okay just for your peace of mind until you get you get you together maybe do some shadow work like i said do something that will help you figure out why you feeling how you feeling get to the bottom of it and then maybe then you can unsilence them or re-add them re-follow them whatever the case may be at the end of the day your peace is what's important. Those people are in their own little world, having their own little fun, and they probably don't care if you delete them or unfollow them or silence them. It's you and your peace that matters. I would like to thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in to the podcast today, or if you're watching, thanks for watching this podcast today. Make sure that y'all subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Dara Madris. That's D O L L I R A M A D R I C E. And if you don't do anything else, make sure that you continue to achieve greatness. And with that being said, y'all, I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>